The day this government shutdown really starts to hit home, more than 800,000 people didn't get paid today. And when the clock hits midnight, this will officially be the longest government shutdown in history as the standoff in Washington continues over money for a border wall. The question now, will the president use his executive power to build one without Congress? Today, Congress agreed on at least one thing, and that's passing a bill to ensure that federal workers will get back pay once the shutdown is over. Well, as we just mentioned, today was supposed to be the first check of the year for federal employees, but this shutdown could be felt by other Americans in the coming weeks, too. Food stamps could run dry starting next month, and routine food inspections have now been suspended by the FDA. And how are our two new senators dealing with all of this? Today, both Kirsten Sinema and Martha McSally scurried away from reporters here in Phoenix who wanted to ask about the shutdown. Team 12 political insider Bram Bresnik was one of those reporters, but he can still verify where Sinema and McSally stand on the shutdown. Bram? Yeah, Senator Sinema and McSally are both shutting down questions about the shutdown and President Trump's wall. Now, we verified a few votes they've cast and a few comments tell voters what our brand new senators are thinking. Ask the president. We pursued Kirsten Sinema on the way in. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What'd you say? Shutdowns are irresponsible. This should never happen. And Martha McSally on the way out. Senator. Support what the president's doing. Hey, guys. Senator. Yeah. Senator. In between, Arizona's two U.S. senators shared less than 10 seconds worth of comments on the shutdown at a Biltmore luncheon packed with high-powered politicians, lobbyists, and corporate types. I've called on leaders in both parties to end this unnecessary government shutdown. The opportunity is to break through the current gridlock on border security. The senators' comments, or lack of them, tell us a little. We verified that Cinema and McSally's votes reveal just a bit more about their responses to the shutdown. In December, while both Cinema and McSally were still House members, McSally voted to spend $5 billion on President Trump's wall. Cinema didn't cast a vote. In the Senate, Democrat Cinema voted with McSally and other Republicans to keep moving legislation during the shutdown. Both have sponsored a bill blocking congressional paychecks during shutdowns. And while 800,000 government workers go without paychecks, McSally put her $174,000 Senate salary on hold. Cinema is donating an undisclosed chunk of her paycheck to charity, as she has during past shutdowns. And also today, as you heard earlier, the House voted to guarantee back, back pay for thousands of federal workers. Now, just seven members of Congress voted against it. Two of them were Arizona Republicans, Andy Biggs of Gilbert and Paul Gosar of Flagstaff. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram. President